We survived the lockout, made it through the regular season, and the NBA playoffs have started. Just like the last time we had a lockout shortened season, the San Antonio Spurs are on top of the West. That year, they won the world championship. Will that happen this year? Well, let's see what's changed between 1999 and 2012. Oh, 1999 is also the year that Prince re-released 1999 with seven different remixes ah. that to this day I've never heard. And you know I've heard all seven the Prince Seven different stuff. remixes? Yeah, dude. He was like, yo, it's my time to shine. Tim Duncan. In 99, Duncan averaged 19.9 points and 10.5 rebounds per 36 minutes. In 2012, 19.7 and 11.5. And he's got the same haircut. None really at all. He looked like a man. Who lets, whose woman cuts his hair. His hair looks like it is cut by a non-professional. And as a man who's having more and more trouble growing hair with every passing day, I really feel like he should treat that with a little bit more respect. Growing hair is a privilege. Consistency. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. Was rap better in 99 or 2012? 99, no question. No, 99? no question. <laughs> Greg Popovich. In 99, Popovich was the head coach of the Spurs. In 2012, Popovich is the head coach of the Spurs and looks exactly the same. That's the silver lining on that cloud that is early great. Quim and I had come out in September 98, so it was still running strong. Juvenile high. That whole thing started getting big. There's the rise of cash money. It was the beginning of what gave us Lil Wayne. 400 degrees, juvenile. It's a fantastic record. Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. That's juvenile. a really angry, disturbing record. Dr. Dre. 2001. That's the one. Sean Elliott. After the 99 championship, Elliott was the recipient of a kidney transplant. Have you ever listened to Sean Elliott on the broadcast? No, is he on the Spurs? Dude, they say we like it must have been on a memo. There's like, we have to. In 12, he's returning the favor to the universe while giving his heart and soul on the mic as the single biggest homer on the NBA league pass. When you get the league pass, right, you're a special kind of consumer. And you like, this is just part of the color of it all. Yes, that is saying a lot. But when you were actual network, man, you can't be piping Sean Elliott and Tommy Heinsohn into people's houses. You know, you ever notice that? Like when you watch the national broadcast, they out there telestrating and showing you plays and what happened here. They ain't doing none of that on the local broadcast. In 2012, the Spurs are led by Frenchman Tony Parker. In 99, the point guard was Avery Johnson, who also speaks French. You know, he's from New Orleans. Oh yeah, I, I speak a little bit of French too. I mean, that's when it was still relevant to talk about an album because yeah. you still went out and bought CDs. And Dude, I ain't out there. I ain't really, I got no time to be looking, listening to these children's mixtapes, man. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> Tony Parker's looking at you like, oh, what part of France did you say you were from? And then Avery's looking at him like, you say you French, why is your name Tony? No, I'll tell you this right now, I guarantee you. New Castle in New Orleans, but like, I speak a little bit of French. Don't nobody speak that shit but y'all. Get it together, come up with a concept, put it all together, I don't have time for for your little mixtape. Mixtape can mean anything. I don't do that. I need an album. I want an LP. I want 12, 13 tracks. The villains. In the 99 finals, the Spurs took on the Knicks and the biggest villain in the NBA, Latrell Sprewell. If things go well, the Spurs may get to beat the biggest villain in the league in 2012, LeBron James, who, as far as we know, never yoked his coach up by the throat. Just don't make villains like they used to. I personally don't have time to be sifting through all this stuff that nobody had the heart to tell you not to put out. Shaq. In 99, the Spurs swept the Lakers, who were still trying to figure out how to make it work with Shaq. In 2012, TNT is still trying to figure out how to make it work with Shaq. And Kobe's still in the league. There's a lot of stuff that you can't put out on a mixtape and a lot of stuff that you shouldn't put out on a mixtape. And why would I listen to that stuff when I could just go put on ATLs? Don't be fooled. So much has changed, but the Spurs aren't old. They're one of the youngest teams in the NBA. They just still got those same two old haircuts, for better or worse. Enjoy the playoffs. I can't tell you what was real big on do at the Door Room Cinemas in 1999. The Love Jones. The Love Jones was a big timer okay. in, in the in the door room cinema. The Titanic, the thing about the Titanic was how long was the Titanic? Like about three hours, wasn't that a long yeah, movie? Yeah. If you were at the dorm room cinema going, three hours is a lot of room to shall we say upsell to the large popcorn, you know? <laughs> <laughs>